the cancer. So these are three types of modifier errors that we see on sentence correction questions. Mm -hmm. Misplaced modifiers, mm -hmm. dangling modifiers, mm -hmm. and squinting modifiers. Okay. Mispla in misplaced modifier, the subject is present in the sentence, but it is placed far away from what it modifies. So subject is present, but is placed far away. Yes. Placed far away. Okay. And in dangling modifier, the mm -hmm. subject is not present. The logical Misplaced subject is not present. In dangling modifier, yeah, the, the uh, logical, logical subject is not clear in the sentence, clearly present in the sentence. Logical subject not clearly present. Yes. Okay. And squinting modifier is uh, also called two-way looking modifier. In this, there is a subject, but it uh, illogically modifies two words in the sentence. Two way looking. So what yes. you're saying is there's a subject but there is a modifier that can modify two things in the sentence, two okay. words in the so sentence. So the modifier might modify yeah. two things. Two or two or more. Two, yeah, two or more. Generally two. Two or more. Okay. But generally it's two. Fine. Okay, so let's move, let's see in detail, let's do all these things. I just quickly repeat this, in misplaced modifier, you're saying the subject is present, mm -hmm. but would be placed somewhere far away from, right. so, so there's no clarity there. Yeah. In a dangling modifier, the logical uh, subject, subject is not clearly, clearly identified. Yes. So you're not being able to it's, identify. It's either not present in the sentence. Okay, it's not either present or it's not clearly identified, or yeah. it's not present then. Yeah. Okay, in a squinting modifier, the, the subject might, the, the modifier, modifier might, might modify, modify two, two, two things, in this, two, two, two words two, in the two sentence two or two subjects. Okay. Okay, so let's. Uh, we just call it live. And so we this do the space modifier. Yeah, and this is what we just said. It's a modifier mm -hmm. and uh, a phrase or a clause which is placed too far away from the noun or a pronoun which it describes. So that is why it mm -hmm. is a misplaced modifier. Yes. So it fails to convey an exact meaning and it can also produce ambiguity or confusion. Exact meaning and it produce confusion or ambiguity. So therefore, it makes the sentence illogical. Perfect. Let's see the sentences. Yes. Finally thinking clearly, the book was able to be understood by Sophie. Finally thinking clearly, <coughs> the book was able to be understood by Sophie. So finally thinking clearly is the modifier, modifier, but it is modifying the book and it is not making any sense. Right. Because the book will not be finally So what is the modifier? Clearly. What no, what should uh, the modify modify in the sentence? Finally thinking clearly should modify Sophie because right. she is the person who can think. Right. So this is what the mis misplaced modifier is. Subject is present in the sentence but mm -hmm. it is placed far away from the sentence. Therefore it uh, creates a confusion in the sentence. Yes. So book cannot think clearly. Absolutely. So therefore this is an illogical sentence. It is an illogical sentence. So that is why we said that we have to check the sentence for its grammar. Mm -hmm and clarity. Yes. So it has to be structurally, grammatically and logically correct and this sentence is not logically correct. Grammatically, structurally and logically. So this has a logical error here? Yes, definitely. So this also has a, this makes a grammatical error that is misplaced modifier error. So how might we correct this sentence? Finally thinking clearly or maybe Sophie finally thinking clearly was able Sophia. to understand the book yes. or finally thinking clearly Sophie, Sophie understood the book. Yes, anything but finally thinking clearly must modify so yes okay now okay. the second sentence we go to the second one yes it says ex communicated by the roman church in 1521 the protestant reformation was led by martin luther right now ex communicated by the roman church in 1521 who yes it cannot be the protestant reformation Very it was it was by martin, martin luther. luther martin luther right so that is why we ask ourselves who so it's communicated in Roman, uh, excommunicated by Roman Church in 1951. Who? Martin Luther. And you have to place Martin Luther next to what it. Yes. What gets. So it could be Martin mm -hmm. Luther excommunicated. Oh no. So it will be excommunicated by the Roman Church in 1951. Martin, Martin Luther, Luther led, led the, the Protestant, Protestant Reformation. Okay. Very nice. And this is the ED, 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 ED type, yes. ED type modifier. Yes. ED word group. This is a ED word group modifier. <coughs> and the error is misplaced modifier. Here. And the error is misplaced modifier because mm -hmm. Martin Luther. This should modify Martin Luther yes. and not the Protestant Reformation. It logically um, uh, tells us that the Protestant Reformation was excommunicated by Luther. Yes. Right. Okay. Jennifer thing. called her adorable kitten, opening, opening the, the can, can of, of tuna. tuna and filled the food bowl. Right. Jennifer <laughs> called her adorable, adorable kitten, opening the can of tuna and filled the food okay, bowl. Okay, the modifier. Called her adorable kitten, op opening the can of right. tuna. 
So underline this portion, opening the can of tuna. Yeah, it's, it's a ING type. So now, what is just uh, immediately before the op uh, word group opening she, the can? She has opened kitten. No, yes, kitten. Yeah. So it says kitten opening the can of tuna? No. So can kitten open the can of tuna? No. No, right. So this is an illogical sentence? Yes. Right. So how might we correct the sentence? Opening the can of tuna, Jennifer called her adorable kitten and, and filled the food bowl. Very nice. So this is again a misplaced modifier. Now yes. what we do and the easiest way to locate the error is to locate the comma. Look at the comma. Right. But there is a there is no comma here. Here. In the first sentence the we look at this. No yeah. In the first we sentence. Okay. In the first sentence. There's a comma, comma. here. Yes. So what is before and after comma modifies each other. Oh that makes it very simple. Yeah. Yes. In the second sentence also Similarly, you can the comma is here, yeah. Roman church and the mm -hmm. protestant information. And in the third it is uh, the comma is after kitten. Okay, so we, we just put the comma in. Yeah. Here. So whatever. Jennifer called the adorable kitten, comma, opening the can of tuna and fill the food bowl. Right. The adorable kitten cannot open the can of uh, tuna, uh -huh. so it the more. Right, so what is before, of, yes. that is why we said this is very easy to locate uh, error. Yes. So when you locate the comma, you can easily identify whether the sentence is logical or not. Absolutely. This is the simple. This is very simple. So should we go ahead? Yes. So do uh, dangling modifier. So the previous <coughs> one was the uh, misplaced modifier. We also have the dangling modifier and the spinting modifier. Yes. Okay. So what uh, is a dangling modifier now? where the subject is not present in the sentence. Yes. So it modifies another word or phrase that has not been clearly stated within the sentence. Not been clearly stated within the sentence. Coming out of the department store, Stanley's wallet was stolen. Now what's the error in the sentence? Uh, it says coming out of the department store, Stanley's wallet. So what they have done is that they have modified by coming out, but they are saying that Stanley's wallet was coming out. Very nice. So what should be the subject here? Stanley. Is Stanley written anywhere? No. No. So it's the wallet which is the subject of the yes. sentence. That is why it makes it a logical sentence. Absolutely. So what is before comma and after comma? That's modified. Modified. Understood. understood. So, so it should have been coming out of the department store. Stanley lost his lost wallet. Lost his wallet. Or we can also use while Stanley was coming out of the department store, he, he lost, lost his, his wallet. Any of the options which is present to you, you can choose. Absolutely. Then the second sentence. Having finished the lunch, the television was turned on. Right. This is this is the modifier, and this is the comma, mm -hmm. and this says that the the television has had the lunch or something. Right. So which does not make sense at all. So it has to be somebody. Somebody having finished the lunch, he turned ah. on the television. Yeah. So any of the answer choices that provide you the subject mm -hmm. is your right answer. Anyone which provides subject is right. Anyone of course, you will look for other errors also, which? but first of all, the subject in the morning, yes. dangling morning eyes. So any uh, having finished the lunch, you'll ask yourself who. Yeah, absolutely. So it says television. So television cannot have the lunch. Absolutely. So therefore, this is an error. So you can say anybody. Let's move to the next sentence. So in, in a sentence correction uh, question, hmm. these questions would be easily identified also because of the comma. Right. Is that what you're trying to say? Yes. And then once you've seen the comma, then it's very easy to identify. So there will be more than one error in the sentence. But if you have located one error, you do not need to read the complete sentence. You know there is an error, therefore the sentence is wrong. So, so it will save your time if you locate a modifier error. I have another question. Hmm. For example, uh, you realize that uh, there's a comma hmm. and there's an error. Hmm. And then you realize that, okay, so there's one answer choice which corrects that. Hmm. But there was another error in the question. Is it, is that how it works also? Yes. There could be two errors in the question? There can be more than uh, two errors. There can be all seven errors or there can be no error in the sentence. Oh wow. So once you have to identify then, then that just eliminates other choices. Right. So if you have located one error, that doesn't mean you look for all seven errors or you will try to identify all seven errors. If you located one error, that means the sentence is wrong. So right. you don't have to read that sentence and any other answer choice that retains that error hmm. is a wrong choice. Right. So you can come down to two way three split. Hmm. That is either two choices are wrong or three choices are wrong. We call it two by three. Two by three split. Yeah, so either two are wrong, two are wrong, or three. Three, three are wrong. So that means you can eliminate more than one choice generally. So this would be generally followed. Yes. By in any question. Yes. Generally, we don't say always. Okay. Okay. So Can let's see how we correct the dangling modifier error. Sure. This is the same slide. Yeah, I'm just on this one, right? Um, 
Okay. You can place the subject of the modification, mm -hmm. the uh, phrase as the subject of the independent clause. Okay. Here, if we see having finished the lunch, television was turned on. So television was turned on is the independent clause. Yes. I can place the mod subject there mm -hmm. and make the sentence logical. Yes. As in so here. Coal. Coal. Having finished lunch, coal turned on the television. Absolutely. So we corrected the sentence. Absolutely. Or we can also place the subject in the dangling phrase. That is, uh, we can place the subject in having finished lunch. Move on. Yeah. After Paul finished lunch, he, he turned, turned on, on the, the football, game. football game. Both of these sentences are right. Mm -hmm. So, but you will not get both the choices right. because only one choice is the correct answer. Right. So, out of these two, whichever is available, you Just can take that. Yes. Whichever is available. Sometimes you can have both the choices, but mm -hmm. then there There's will be no more. Yes. Yes. Be careful. Okay. Understood this? I understood this. Okay. Let's move. Yeah. Let's let's move. I think what we'll do is we'll just quickly uh, finish this video okay. and go on to the next video. Right, sure. Yeah.